Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Sorry for not uploading Legends of Tomorrow last night. We had uh, major thunderstorms and cut out the power for about four minutes. And it took over 35 minutes for it to reboot and that happened around 8.15. So I got like the first 15 minutes and like the last five minutes of the show. So yeah, I had to wait until I had to watch it on CWC this morning. So anyway. We're we'll doing season four, episode ten of Legends of Tomorrow, called "The Getaway." So we start off with um, the president Nixon in 1973 uh, confesses and tells the complete entire truth, and um, obviously that's a lie <laughs> because and he was actually a known liar. But anyway, so the legends are concerned about Sarah. The time Burrow and Mona, because Sarah's like, everything's fine, it'll be, it'll be fine. And then we cut to where Mick is uh, fired up about um, everything, about the whole Nixon thing, because um, he loved the documentaries and stuff. Then we find out that Ava's taking time off, and that Nate's dad wants the time ship. So Zari talks to Gary about um, the whole conspiracy thing, and he's in. And then Mick talks to Mona. And then Sarah and Mona lied, saying, oh yeah, that was a bad accident that he did. Then Sarah and Ray talked to uh, Nixon, and they incapacitate him and take him, and Charlie tries to take his place, but she only did it for like a little bit of time. Then Nate and Zari um, warn the remaining legends on the ship, and they managed to escape before Nate's dad gets there, and they steal a uh, RV. And his dad is really pissed about it. Then um, we found out that Sarah forgot Charlie. <laughs> they had everyone on the RV. Then it's like, we forgot Charlie. And then we cut to um, where they're going to head to Disneyland, and it's like, why do we do that? <laughs> And uh, then we cut to where Constantine uh, found a lying, eating roach. So basically that's why Nixon has been telling the truth a lot. Then Mona tries to confess to Sarah, but Sarah uh, doesn't really listen. And it's like, oh, we'll worry about that later. We're kind of busy. And <clears throat> then we cut to where Gary talks to Nora and asks for her help on conspiracies. Then Mona goofed up by trying to poke a hole into the, um, cause they got the roach out of Nixon and put it into this glass jar and Mona thought it needed air, so she tried to punch her hole into the, um, container and then that, um, so then the whole glass container rolled and got underneath the brakes and Mick had, I mean, Ray had to swerve and everything and then he got, they got pulled over by the cops. Then the merchant went inside of Ray because he was lying and then he told the truth and he got called in and that's how Nate knows about where they are. Then Sarah tells him to step on it before Nate's dad can get there and when he does get there, Nate's dad takes the cop's car with Nate. Then Constantine made a decoy of RVs, so that was pretty cool, and then Zari's on the radio and helps the legends out. And then uh, Gary and Nora are trying trying to hack in, and they need a password. And so um, they um, so Zari tells Nate that, and so Nate uh, managed to get the password out of them, but that his um, childhood pet. And they got a lot of dirt. <laughs> then we cut to where someone uh, came into Gary, where Gary and uh, Nora were. But they, um, they left, but Nora was freaking out. And that same someone that came into the office let Nate know about the dirt and everything. As someone tried to get into its account. Then we cut to where Constantine, then got roached, then Mick, then Sarah. And Sarah unloads on Mona, and so Mona decides to leave. And then Sarah goes after her, along with Constantine, then Nate's dad set up Nate, and he, he took the bait. Then Mona is surrounded by the Time Bureau. At first she's very incognito about it. 
And then we cut to where uh, Constantine is concerned about Sarah, kind of peps her up and, you know, tries to be nice, actually. Then we cut to where uh, Nora goes off <laughs> and um, goes back crazy. Then we cut to where the legends got surrounded and um, they were going to get like arrested by the time we were, but um, the Roach went to Nixon and they started telling the truth and stuff. And then it went to Nate. And so, you know, they come to an understanding and Nate's dad tells them to stand down, so they stand down. Then Sarah tries to uh, calm Nord down, I mean, Mona down, and it works. And then we cut to where Zari picks them up, and then Zari got a lot of dirt on Nate's dad, and Nate's kind of depressed about it and wants to go talk to his dad about it, so he leaves. So the dad goes to talk to the guy, and the guy literally offs him, and then Nord sense that and tried to escape, but she got there too late, but... Basically, it was basically wrong place, wrong time, because then Nate walked in, and then the entire bureau surrounded her. But she did a blast, and she managed to escape. And that was the end of the episode. Um, actually, I really, really, really liked this episode. I give it um, an A+. Plus. I really enjoyed it. And, because it still had its funny moments in there. Especially when they're telling the truth to each other. I thought that was pretty funny. And I just overall really enjoyed the episode. Uh, lots of twists and turns, and the whole thing about Nate was crazy. Nate's dad. Because, like, they actually had, like, a really real moment in this episode between uh, Nate and um, his dad. So I thought that was a really special moment, and uh, it was just really touching. I really liked that. And so we get to see them try to work together, especially with the Legends and Mona trying to get that to work well together anyway i'm getting tired <laughs> anyway that's what i'm doing for this video so if you like this video please go to like comment down below tell me what you think do you agree disagree tell me thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe help out the channel a bunch and i'll see y'all in my next video bye everybody